I need more fun shirts that actually work in a medium shot. This is so cool and you can't see it. Hello, new friends. I'm back with another little tip and trick to make your post-production life easier. This one is a super quickie for my Mac buddies. Sorry, Windows users, yet again, you probably have a similar tool. I just don't know about it. There are a lot of great batch renaming tools out there. I've got one I designed myself for very specific circumstances that I use all the time. Um, but for certain situations where you just really quickly need to do something, Mac has a built-in renamer tool. All you have to do, so let's say I want to get rid of all these Getty images and like just have that barcode at the front. Right click, go to rename, replace text, Getty, I can spell, come on, Getty images, dash, and then as, and I replace it with nothing. So as you can see in the example, it's going to take that off the front. And but um, so this tool obviously has its limitations. Um, you can only like re batch replace one thing at a time. So if you also want to get rid of that uh, dash six forty underscore adpp, uh, you have to do that again. Um, this is one of the reasons why I like my own batch renaming tools because. Uh, have a much more streamlined way of doing it. But there you go. So with two reasonably quick clips, you now have files that are simply the Getty barcode. Uh, you could also go to rename if you want to add text, like say uh, that these are master files. Uh, you can do master dash if you want to do it before the name, or you can do it after the name. And voila, that's done. And the format option I've never used because once you get to, once I've gotten to kind of like this level of detail in my renaming, I just use my other batch renaming tools. But if your needs are pretty simple, this is great. As you can see, so name and index. So you could say Getty one or one Getty for name and counter. We'll do it like that if you take a look at the example or name and date. Like I said, I really only use the uh, replace text to like quickly get rid of the Getty images dot dash or if I have a bunch of like ripped files that have commas in the file name because they're from YouTube. I can use that to uh, quickly get rid of all the commas. That is a really great tool for very quick, like you just want to get it done and over with and you don't want to have to bother pulling up a more complicated renaming tool. If you have any other questions or problems that you've run into in your stock footage adventures that you're like, could a computer do that for me? Let me know down in the comments. Hey, boo-boo. Walk over here, boo. No, Lotus, you're not the, you're not the one I need. Come on, boo. Please. Lotus, you're not the one I need on camera.